We call this an upfront contract. What are we going to go through today? What are you going to get out of this today? What should we see by the end of this presentation? In that case, what we're looking for is that they decide to work with us or not, right? That we're looking for some form of decision at the end of the day. Going off on tangents is really hard because they might have questions. And you're really not sitting here going through like a script. You're trying to open up some of these questions, but in a prepared and actually predictive way. So you know, hey, this person might ask this question here. Instead of letting like, hey, you have any questions, right? No, everybody's gonna say, well, no, no, I don't have any questions right now. But if you can open up those questions in a certain way, you can actually get them to spur their own thought process into persuasion. So if the client asks a question that's not relevant at the time, usually what I'll do is I'll have it to like, hey, we're gonna totally cover that. Or like I say, if you, at the beginning of the agenda, you have any questions right out the gates, they might have a few say, totally we're gonna get that. In many cases, they're just trying to tell you what their their potential objections will be. And you can just store that away. But a lot of times what we like to do is, oh, I gotta answer that question right now, right? Or I gotta go through that right today. Uh, you know, he's gonna have more curiosity. That's exactly, exactly what you want. You want them being curious. You want them to feel like they're gonna get that answer later in the presentation. And so we're gonna go through how you can build that right into the deck. And if you're all over the place, the client will be too. So if you keep it simple, now our deck's got, I think, somewhere in the realm of 150 to 170 slides. A lot of slides there designed for you to compile or compress or expand on what you want, but it's got really everything that you'd like, you need to go through. You want to make it to where it's pretty simple for the client to understand. So in many cases, I think half of the deck is just stories, right? And being able to talk through that. As we've seen today, it's much more powerful to hear about Manal's story or David's story than it is just to be able to hear some of these slides here. 